Hey guys, it's Danny the Medic. Welcome to the channel. Now today, I'm going over to the DMV at Flamingo to trade in my New York State license for a Nevada license. Now, that is very important, guys. Very important because with the Nevada license, I can get the local discount, guys. Save myself some money. All right, now, it's gonna be like 50 bucks to do the changeover but I will make that back so quickly because there is a restaurant in between the Mandalay Bay and the Luxor. It's an Irish pub. They advertise 40% off for food on Fridays. My God, guys, if I just go twice, I make my money back much better than trying to win my money back at the blackjack table. So, DMV, let's go. All right guys, I am here, about a half hour early ahead of my appointment time, which is 1.30 p.m. Now, a little bit earlier is good because what if there's a form to fill out, you know? All right, let's go inside and take a look. DMV guys, DMV. Oh, what's this? I smell food. I smell food. Oh my God, guys, they have a snack bar. Oh, <gasps> snacks. Snacks, guys. So they have some cool license plates on display. You got like big ones for cars and trucks and stuff. Small ones for like little bikes and stuff. Nice. And so to prevent theft of the pens, they put this like a uh, big piece of paper attached to the pen. Some of which says uh, DMV on it. Interesting guys. You know, I mean like, that's the way to do it. All right, so I'm just gonna fill this out and then I'm gonna get a snack from that snack bar. All right, so I'm waiting for my number to be called it's going to take a while. The snack bar got cup noodles, guys. Cup noodles. Just going to enjoy this while I wait. It may take a while. Ooh, it's almost ready. Now serving A, one, two, nine, six, Counter number 21. Now serving A1006 zero, zero, at counter number 21. Oh my god, guys. It is now 2 o'clock, and they just told me they're doing the 1 o'clock appointments. They're so behind. This is almost as bad as flying on Spirit Airlines. All right, so we are no longer at the DMV. Thank goodness. We are now at the South Point Coronado, or however you pronounce it, cafe, where we're gonna get the Porter House. We got here, Steve. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Las Vegas. Obviously, it's Tong here, and uh the three of us are back here in Vegas. Back in Vegas, guys. All right. Porterhouse steaks.
So Steve has just pointed out that there's a mirror right here, guys. A mirror. And you can see South Point. That's right, guys. South Point. The casino that is so far south, you can stand there and see Mexico. See Mexico. I thought it's printed on the paper. Hi, right. I'll take the porterhouse, please. How you want your porterhouse? Do you make it Pittsburgh style? It is a medium rare on the inside, and the outside all nice and burned. Char? Yeah. Oh, okay, terrific. I'll take that. Uh, am I able to have the onion rings and garlic toast? Oh, okay, I'll take the baked potato, please. Uh, what's your soup for today? This is it beef and barley? Beef and barley. Thank you. They got beef, guys. Beef. Jackpot. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, are the, right, the teas free refills? Yeah, I'll tell her to bring some, okay? Thank you. Okay. Alright guys, so I got the soup and we got some bread guys. Free bread. Alright. This is a heck of a deal guys. Amazing. So, today's saltine cracker is made by Brick Fire. Amazing. Let's give the crackers a try. It's a pretty decent cracker. All right, so now let's try the soup. It's very starchy, guys. I'll tell you, I personally prefer the soup to be less starchy. So I'll give this a six. The soups at the South Point Buffet is also pretty starchy. Maybe that's how it is here. It's almost like a porridge of some kind.
And now, the bread. Nice and soft. It is a bit dry, so I'm gonna put some butter on it. Butter, guys. Eight for the bread and butter. <laughs> Tap water. Oh, thank Sour you. Cream Sour cream and butter. Fine rib. There we go. They are gone. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Anything else I'm going to do? Thank you. You want to go to the house? Yes. I didn't see the fine print. That's what I'm saying. You didn't see the fine print? All right. It is here. Let's take a closer look. I will now remove the things from the steak so we can take a closer look at that. It's looking a little bit thin, guys. Thin. All right, it's not looking so promising. This is about a half inch thick steak. Mm. Let's try the bread. I'll give the little piece of toast uh, like a 
All right, let's try some of this steak. So you think it's unevenly cooked? Yeah. Everything okay? So far so good. Thank you. So the onion ring gets a nine, the potato gets an eight. That first bite of steak was kind of chewy. That gets a seven. But I'm gonna try the rest of the steak and I'll tell you what I think. The thickness of the steak is very uneven. I have some that is two millimeter thick and the maximum 17 millimeters thick. So thin. So the thin parts are like very well done. The thick part is a proper medium rare. I kind of like it like this. I got variety. All right, so I'll tell you. I give this thick overall 6.5, right? It is uh, not very consistent, right? You got thick to thin, right? You got gristly and non-gristly. You got regular steak texture, and some parts of it got that wet cloth texture that I was experiencing with the steak and eggs last time the three of us was here. Uh, very inconsistent. Wow. You know, I have, uh, I have had many a porterhouses in the past. And I, I don't know, maybe I'm misremembering, but I remember a distinct New York strip side and a uh, tenderloin or filet mignon side. Over here, I, I, I didn't see that. You know, it looked like, I don't know what, I don't know. It's just weird. Now, I'll tell you, 1895, you know, you got the soup, you got the potato, you got the toast, you got the onion rings, you know, you got, you know, bread and stuff like that. It's an okay deal. But if my math is correct, I can get almost two steak and eggs over at the uh, village pub. 
and uh, out of all those steak and eggs has been like an 8.5, 9.5. So yeah. Now, let's see what the guys think. Hey guys, I actually have the Polar House. Um, just medium rare, and it's actually not bad. I give it probably like a 7, 7.5. But even, I'm kind of full before I start eating it, and uh, it's actually not bad, especially for the price. And it actually have lots of stuff, and I can't finish. Hi everyone, so I had the uh, prime whip, which is really good, and I would give it a nine. Everything turned out really, really good. I'm happy to see Danny and Tong here. We just watched the lion dance before. So we're having a blast here. Talk to you guys later, bye. New Vegas video every Friday.